Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. Footy's Batch 3 prices continue to drop. All of these insane shapeshifter, team of the season, team of the year, everything that's in packs right now is still dropping in price off of just how insane the pack weight is. I think that's really, really the number one key as to why this stuff is dropping so much on the market. And of course, EA released yesterday the big upgrade SBCs that we now have available to go and grind and do the upgrade packs, the 75 times five and the 82 plus with the common gold upgrade, like all of the regular upgrades are back. GG's to EA Sports and 82 plus player picks specifically for Bash 3 are absolutely insane. So I want to talk about all that's going on and also cover the footies times 10 upgrade which is a little bit, you know, not even a little bit. It's just too expensive for our liking, and it doesn't even give you a guaranteed rating, so some of the cards that you get from this are not that good. I want to talk about that SBC for a bit, and of course, what to expect on Sunday, because we have had the Asan Playa, you know, footies Bundesliga vote winner. We are expecting our second winner to be out via SBC today. We don't exactly know who that is. There's no leaks for that just yet. If I have to guess, it's got to be Thomas Moynier, but I would expect to see that today on Sunday, and of course, an Icon Moments player pick return. Hopefully, it's 94+. plus. EA, come on. Just drop us a 94+. plus. It is, it is August now. Go for it. So, we'll talk about all that and more in today's video, but of course, we do have to talk about the market, and including SBC Fodder, because Fodder went up yesterday for a bit. It's back down again, and it is very, very viable. So all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We talked about first, though, the prices that are still moving on this market. I mean, I could go and show you just an absolute crazy number of these shapeshifter heroes, everything that's in batch three. What I'm going to start off with, though, is just look at some prices that have continued to drop off. This is kind of what we expected, right? With these guys being in packs for... Um, the extended period of two weeks, um, you know, they're going to continue to drop over this weekend. But I think on the weekends, what you have is the most amount of supply because people are opening packs from weekend league rewards. A lot of people open saved up packs on Friday, right? Now, yesterday you saw a lot of these prices drop even more. I mean, last night, I'm pretty sure I checked on the video and Dina Tale was like 800K still. And right now, Dina Tale is 578, right? If we took it, take a look at the Saturday graph, he started off at 700, 800,000 coins and was just dropping all day, all day, and even down further. And is it really because of the great content? I mean, if you take a look at the SBCs that we had yesterday, we had the, the footies times 10 upgrade, which was 93% downvoted, but people were absolutely still going out and doing this. You had an 82 plus player pick, you had the upgrade packs. And you had the Tony Cruz. That's not, you know, the 80, the footies times 10 upgrade is an SBC that a lot of people are going and doing, even though it's downvoted so much because people have fodder and they don't know what to do with it and they want to gamble at this stage of the game. Um, but, you know, I think it's the combination of supply and a little bit of that panic. But really, I just think that EA have absolutely juiced the pack weight on like everything batch three. Look at Hyunmin Sun, 770,000 coins for this guy. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, I bought him last night at 860, sold him at 1.1, and now he is back down. A, he, wow, these guys are just fluctuating like crazy. It's it's a weird combination of these cards getting packed so much, but they're still really high rated and they're shapeshifters. So they seem to be somewhat rare as well. And that's why you continue to see, like we just looked at on that Hyunmin Sun graph, you see all of these fluctuations. He goes down on Saturday to 850K, goes back up to 1.1 mil, then goes down to 750, back up to 860. You're gonna continue to see these fluctuations with these really, really high tier um, shapeshifter and team of the season cards that are very, very popular. Now, today on Sunday, I think you're gonna see prices drop even lower again. It might not be as drastic as it was yesterday, right? Marcelo went from 1.1 mil to 1.3, back down to, to 900k and is now in that 900k range again. You know, if you're really wanting a card to use this week in FIFA, you really probably want to take a look at some of these card prices tonight on Sunday. Whatever content is today, I think there could be some more supply of people finishing off their weekend league. One thing we actually have seen pretty consistently on Sunday nights heading into Mondays, and we'll talk about this maybe a little in tomorrow's video too, is there's always a little bit of an uptick on the market on like Monday mornings, during Monday, heading into content drop. I think it's just because people get their rewards, they get some coins, 
they go out and they build some teams. So I think that if you're trying to buy a card to try out and just use for a couple games, um, again, the Monday could bring us the repeatable 85 times 10. That would be my only worry of like, I'm not going to go out and tell you right now to, yeah, you got to buy these cards on, um, on Sunday night or tonight because I think they're going to go up in price. I really don't think that's going to be the case here because uh, if it is, it's going to be a short rise on a Sunday morning time frame or Monday morning, Sunday night to Monday morning. It would be a small rise, but then these cards are all still going to keep dropping over the next two weeks that they're in packs, right? That's we know that that's going to be happening. So any of these cards that you see really, really big drops on, if you're trying to trade with them or flip with them, go for it. I think it's a very, very, you know, it's a very good market to be trading in because again, like I said, these cards are pretty rare. Franck Ribéry was just 875. He might be like rebounding a little bit right now. He had a fluctuation last night. Let's see how high this guy is going to go. 915, 930, and then he doesn't have that many cards to so like probably 900 highs. All right, he's got a decent amount. So the longer that we go, the fluctuations are going to kind of be a little bit less. Those those first day, first night ones were probably the biggest ones that you saw, right? With Sun, with Marcelo and stuff like that. But in general, all these cards that are in batch three are going to go lower. Just watch for a bit of a fluctuation, you know, maybe tonight from Sunday into tomorrow on Monday for a few of these cards. But again, that's, again, the content is just so much on this game at the moment the packs are so good that's going to pull people away from using tradable cards on the market as well and they'll say hey i'll go sell like a hazard uh, you know shapeshifter that i have it's 270k and i'll go do a bunch of player picks because player picks are just hitting different right now i don't know if i can do one from the club i really want to though my club i really haven't done too much since friday if i'm being completely honest let's see what do i have in here okay i've got some Syria guys perfect Perfect. This is going to be absolutely banging for a player pick. Like every single player pick that I see people opening. I, I even need to show you guys some tweets that were sent to me. I mentioned that at the beginning of the video too. I got to show you guys like how cracked these are. Can From one player pick, can I get a team of the season or a shapeshifter card? Let's see. I cannot. Okay, that was a dud of a player pick. But for most people, what they're getting is, is stuff like this. Like take a look at these player picks that I'm being tweeted, guys. Like we love that pack weight. Look at this. Okay, that's a batch three player pick. So I guess that's a bit besides the point, but he gets Ribéry, right? Pack with in general OP. 75 times five pack with Oscar and Vinny inside of it. Uh, he got SS Rashford seven packs ago. And now this, another tweet that I was mentioned in, this guy said, I decided to do five player picks. And this almost seems like, like he's capping, man. But still at the same time, I don't think that he is. I really don't know if this, this guy is capping, but that almost seems way too good to be true. Five player picks. He got Ginola, Abedi Pele, Tavernier, Thiago Mendes, and Zaha. That's what he tweeted me. And he's got, he's he actually, he's got the receipts. He had Tots, no way. Tots Salah and Abedi Pele in the same. These are 82 plus player picks, guys. Like these 82 plus player picks are 12,000 coins to do, 13K, like and this is what people are packing from them. That is disgusting. That's 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 disgusting. And I think that, you know, that's what everybody is going to want to do in this game this week. That's what I want to be doing day in and day out on this week. I will be draining as many coins as possible this next week. Um, and of course, a lot of people are doing that too, because how much are gold rares? Yeah, their they're gold rares are up, right? And if you bought some of these yesterday, you are feeling really good because, wow, no way. Gold rares are 1,500 coins. That's crazy. Gold, gold rares are probably going to be their highest um, probably Tuesday like they were last week. Uh, you know, they might go over 2,000 coins this week because, again, like I've been saying all weekend, there's just so much more demand. And with the, all the cards and packs, it makes sense. With the shapeshifters, you see player picks like that. EA seem to have juiced the pack weight incredible so ggs to ea for that we're gonna hit a bunch of those player picks this week if you pack anything sick as always make sure to tweet me link down below in the description as i said but the other sbcs that we had yesterday we did have the footies march favorite tony cruz celebrating his foot birthday version and i actually made a tweet yesterday and i kind of realized that after they dropped this tony cruz i was like wait a second this last week of footies we have had not one not two but three real madrid midfielders added via footies cards, Ferlin Mendy, Casemiro, and now Tony Cruz. This is becoming like a Real Madrid promo. But anyways, this card, five star, five star is very nice. Um, yeah, it's it's more of a fun card than anything else. Great shot power, great long shots. 
His passing is going to be absolutely phenomenal. So GG's to EA for this. The SBC is coming in on Footpin at 150k. Pretty craftable. It's about the same cost as Lacroix, if you think about it. Um, so really not that bad if you have a Real Madrid squad, if this card helps out your team with links, German with some Bundesliga stuff going on right now. A lot of other German players released and Real Madrid links there. Pretty usable. So that was a W um, for the price if it is something that would be really good for your team. Now, the other SBC was the big one. The footies times 10 upgrade. Now, this one is coming in at 400k and it's just, it's kind of too expensive. Especially, here's what I would say. If you are on your way of crafting Furlan Mendy, like with the fodder that you're getting right now, it's not doing this times 10 upgrade and doing the Furlan Mendy squads with the same amount of fodder would just put you so much further ahead getting that SBC done. Um, now, I don't know about the 85 times 10 it says it's not repeatable, but I'm I thought it was going to be refreshing in two days uh, from Friday. And I thought that meant we were going to be able to do it again today on Sunday. The way this looks right now, it doesn't look like it. And this SBC is going away tomorrow on Monday. But if it is coming back tomorrow being unlimited repeatable, that means we can do as many 85 times 10s as we want. That's something that we kind of have to think about and prepare for. I still think it might be a smidge too early for EA to do that. But I also think it's possible. So a couple ways that we can just kind of think about that as well a day ahead of time is uh, SBC fodder. And, and regardless of the 85 times 10 coming out today or, or tomorrow, it, it's going to come back, right? SBC fodder yesterday, if you, if you bought any cards, they did pretty well. I mean, take a look at our usual Sabitzer, right? We always look at this guy, 5,000 coins. He's back down. But yesterday he was... 4.5, 4.7, spiked to 7K at the content drop and is now back down. Fodder is still a really, really good buy. Look at 85s, man. Wow. DeVry is 7.6K. That's crazy. What did, what did he do yesterday? He was also 7K yesterday and went back up to 9,000 coins. I still think it's a great opportunity. 83, 80, 45, do a club stock. I think it's a really, really good opportunity, especially with like, you know, all gold rares are like 1.8. 1.5 1.6 maybe even rising up further than that uh closer to 2k and 83s are only like 2.5k yeah 84 is at 4k four to four and a half k that's a w 85 is at seven and a half like under 8k for 85s big w so i like this lower tier fodder the most because again if you take a look at these graphs this is the fodder that is moving on the market every single day look at these spikes right 4.8k on pk up to 6.1 every single day of content even when we get sbcs that are downvoted 93 percent you're still seeing those prices go up because there's so many other sbcs that are out there people are opening player picks they need to go out and buy some fodder to finish off squads and that's why you're seeing these fluctuations like every single day so that's why i'm going to keep telling you guys to buy fodder when it's low on these weekends i think today like when you're looking at these prices right here this might be one of the last low times for fodder for the next week and a half maybe um if the supply really is going to end up stopping pretty soon because last week during batch two week number two they didn't run any lightning rounds and there's really not been a lot of tradable supply recently on the market as well. So I would just say it's, a, again, a great time to pick up on some of this SBC fodder just because the prices are down again. Um, and, you know, the 85 times 10 is going to be a big catalyst for these cards as well. Um, number one, if it does come back today and number two, if it's released tomorrow as an unlimited repeatable SBC. So let's talk about Sunday content a little bit. Of course, we know Sundays bring us two things like almost guaranteed in the past couple of weeks of footies. Sundays always bring us the second winner of the footies vote. Now we've already had the Asan player, right? This SBC, really, really good. Recommend getting it done. We don't have any leaks yet on who the second winner is going to be. I really think that Thomas Moynier is going to win. Like, I would love Kevin Prince Boateng, FIFA, FIFA legend, right? But little concept here uh, whipped up by the boss foot on Twitter. Um, he did like a voting poll. And actually, uh, Moynier and Playa, he, he showed in his Twitter poll or Instagram poll, wherever this was, had the highest two percentage votes out of both the cars. Evidently, EA said that Playa had number one from their vote, from the real vote. And I would just have to assume that Thomas Moynier got second place. If it's Boateng today, I would be a little bit surprised. So I think we would see 
the second place winners SBC dropped on the game today as a premium for these items. So maybe a new Bundesliga right back in one year coming for a lot of people today on the game. That's something to watch out for today. And of course, Sundays also bring us icon upgrade SBCs, the 93 plus moments pick, which I believe we have had for at least two weeks now, at least two weeks, we've had the same one. It is going away today. And I don't know why EA have not released it. it seriously, guys, it has been months since we have had a repeatable icon moments or icon upgrade pack that is repeatable with no limit. They, they don't like to do these no limit repeatables. They just give us like two every week or one every other day or something like that for the 85 times tens. And I'm just give us the old unlimited repeatable. When you make it repeatable, we can do it as many times as we want. I miss that with some icon player picks, even though at this stage of the game, they're not the most hype. People are getting fodder so much right now that it's something that we can grind. So EA, please give us a 94 plus moments today and make it unlimited times repeatable. That's what we want at this stage of the game. So hopefully something like that comes today. I don't know if they would drop a new sort of like player pick or anything along those lines. We have the Bundesliga campaign. We have the bash three upgrade for the footies player pick, which if I'm doing any of these gamble packs right now, Man, that's kind of a tough one. Like the footies player pick, this one is really not good value. I, even though I just showed you one that was really, really good. Um, I think that to me is just, that's such a big hit or miss. 88 rated squad. According to Footbin, this is costing, okay, that's only costing you 80,000 coins. That's, that's not as bad as I thought it was. So maybe this is something that since fodder is super duper cheap on the high tier, maybe this is something that you look into. Like, I don't know if I can do one of these right now. I really doubt it. Like I don't have that much high rated fodder in the club because I use a lot of it on the main man himself, um, Ferlin Mendy, who is a disgusting card, by the way, really, really good item. But like Oscar, I'd have to turn into this. I have to really rinse the club through a lot of players if I was going to try to get this done. Yeah. And I'm really missing a lot of fodder. I need to do a lot of player picks is really what I need to do. And then I'll go ahead and, and maybe try one of these footies batch three ones just to see what it's like. I think I will try the times 10 upgrade, even though it's so much more expensive. Um, you do get 10 players instead of only getting one from a player pick. So that's kind of nice. But yeah, I think this SBC yesterday, it was a lot more hyped up and, and I was hoping that it would be a lot better than it actually was. So that's a bit of a disappointment just because it's, it's so expensive, man. 400K, four squads. It's a lot to grind, even at this stage of the game, when a lot of the other upgrade packs are just one squad, get it done, and boom, you get a player pick or you get an 85 times 10. So that's a bit of a bummer. I was really hoping for a little bit better from EA on that one, which does suck. But again, the biggest part of the menus right now is that the pack weight is incredible. And it's just, you, you can see it because the prices are dropping. People are packing all of these cards and, um, you know, People want to go out and do SBCs at the same time as well. And that's just causing these prices to drop down. And the menus are a great place to be on FIFA right now. There's just, there's just so much to do. There's a lot of fun. And that's why I think these shapeshifters are going to keep dropping because why like going out and buying cards right now, the only people that are doing that are going out and buying cards just to try a player out that they have not used. Uh, like, you know, I want to go buy this Ramos and try him out. So that's kind of the only way I see the market moving. And I, I think it could move a little bit tonight on Sunday. So I just wanted to preface that a little bit in this video. I think fodder is a great buy on the low tier, even as early as possible today before the content drop. I also think that some of these, maybe especially some of the shapeshifter cards, you know, Ribery, Marcelo, Ramos, Sonaldo, Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, some of those guys that are still down like literally 50 60 percent in price like ronaldo even like messi right messi was 7 million coins and now he's 3.3 or something like this absolutely insane wow he's gonna keep going lower too look at all those listings at 3.3 so i mean all these cards i do think are gonna go lower but i think that some of them will reach kind of an inflection point um in the next day where they could potentially bounce back up a little bit so that's just something to keep an eye out for if you're still trying to make a few coins or try a card out for your team and, and try not to lose that many coins on it, I completely, completely understand. Also watch for Twitter leaks today on Sunday because I would imagine that they would drop um, a leak for who is actually gonna be our SBC winner from the, the second place SBC winner. That's something I'd watch out for today. Um, and then maybe they'll have some other sort of like, what, what footies favorite are we on now? We're on March. We've got this week of footies, we've got next week of footies and we've got to cover April. May, and I think they're going to do June and maybe even July, but probably just June. So somewhere between 
two to three more of the favorite SBCs. And this is the first one that we have had since who's our who's our last footies favorite? What is it like was it LaCroix? I think LaCroix was our last one. Yeah, LaCroix and then Tony Cruz. So, you know, you would you would think that an April footies favorite would potentially be coming later on this week. Um, so, you know, leagues for that could be coming pretty soon as well as it's actually kind of weird to think about it. This week is week four of footies. After this, we have only one more week of FIFA with the footies promo being out. Now, there'll be some stuff after that, and we'll continue to talk about that as we go on. There's going to be a promo after this, but that promo might not be as hype as footies. So that's why I'm really trying to spend a lot of my coins this week, really grind it out, do as many player picks and packs as possible in the next two weeks, really, because I just think after this, it is going to slow down a decent I'm out. But for right now, the game is popping. The menus are fun. There's a lot of objectives to do as well uh, with the Bundesliga Cup. I'm way behind on this, but, you know, we'll hopefully be able to get still 27 if we go on some nice, um, you know, score up of kickoff or something and, and get those wins pretty fast. That would be very, very nice. Uh, but every day that I don't play, I'm lowering my or I'm actually increasing my percentage wins that I have to have for all the games since it's 10 per day it was 27 out of 70 but i missed all of yesterday's games i might miss some of today's so i'm gonna have to end up having like a 50 percent or a 40 60 percent win rate if i'm gonna get that done so there's just a lot to grind and it's a w right i mean we can't complain too much because the upgrade packs are just they're just stupid good and that's the biggest draw to the game at the moment with batch three and packs so let me know down in the comments what you guys are doing on this game right now i know a lot of people are crafting mendy you're doing the Bundesliga objective games. You're doing 82 plus player picks. And today's content, hopefully with an 85 times 10 re-up, hopefully, although it doesn't look very promising, a good icon player pick would help things today as well. And, you know, EA, just drop us some other great SBC, whether it's a player or a player pick. Just let us have some fun. Keep dropping these big boy SBCs that are a lot of fun in August. We would appreciate it. So let me know again down in the comments how you're feeling. But if you did enjoy today's video, hit the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.